Okay, earlier I asked you whether Descartes' standard of knowledge is a good standard. If you think his standard of knowledge is a good standard, I've also asked you what reason you have to believe that you're not in the matrix or one of these other skeptical hypotheses. Well, I asked if that reason can stand up to certainty. It doesn't look like it. I mean, let's run through the list, right? We've already talked about how your sensory information has led you to false beliefs, right? There, there has been some time where you used your sensory information and you, know, you believed falsely. You have not been infallible in your beliefs using sensory information. You mistook somebody's voice, somebody's face. You've uh, misheard what somebody has said. You have misread something. We've seen it on the page. You've misread something. You've been fooled by optical illusions. Uh, you've uh, been... Uh, you know, misled about how far something, how far away something is, right? You've misjudged the distance and velocity of your car and hit the car in front of you, right? There's all kinds of ways that your sensory information has led you wrong, right? You might think it's really hot outside, but you just have a fever, or maybe you think it's really cold, but you just have a fever. You uh, might think that some material is silk, but it turns out to be rayon, right? There's oh, numerous, numerous ways. You have made I mean, you've made at least one mistake, and I, you've made lots of mistakes, all right, given your sensory information. Well, if so, then any belief that you have from sensory input is fallible. Doesn't meet Descartes' standard, right? So saying, I see the world around me, doesn't do it. Doesn't meet Descartes' standard. I don't know, what, your, what about your capacities to calculate, to use inference and reason? You've made mistakes. Hmm? You've... Uh, miscalculated some formula in mathematics. And, and it actually won't take long, right? Your, your exposure to mathematics is rather minimal compared to somebody, say, with a bachelor's degree in mathematics. You know, give you a formula in mathematics, you're like, I don't know what to do with this, right? <laughs> and only infall not only uh, uh, fallible, but incapable <laughs> of, of calculating. Uh, in terms of reason and inference, right? You, you are not uh, competent in the rules, the basic rules of logic, either deductive or inductive. Nobody watching this video, but probably a very rare exception, maybe there's a couple of people with very rare exception, know what it takes to have a good uh, survey, right? Pretty much everybody watching this has been fooled by some survey at some time, either because the people were trying to intentionally fool you or just they just didn't know what they're doing, right? We put some <clears throat> number statistic on there. Aha, that's good. Is it? No, it's not, right? So ratemyprofessor.com. I shudder to think of how many people either did or did not sign up for this course because of ratemyprofessor.com. Their standards are not good standards of statistical inference, but you don't know that. You don't know the basics of that. Hmm? Everybody watching this has been fooled by some commercial or another. Although if you go back and watch these commercials, you realize that they're primarily for entertainment purposes. They're not there to inform you about the product, yet you've gone out and bought something because of those commercials. Hmm? You've made some value judgments that are mistaken, right? You, you've, you've said, that's just gonna solve all my problems. You're trying to go for it, boom, doesn't solve your problems. Like, I imagine even some of you are regretting signing up for this course at this point. Like, wow, did I make a really bad mistake? You know, you've made deep mistakes in terms of logical inference and value judgments, right? In short, and I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to uh, pick on you guys here, but I think everybody watching this video has uh, been willing has been willing to admit that you've made mistakes. Nobody watching this video is infallible. You've made mistakes in sensory input, and in judgment calls, and reasoning. Hmm? <clears throat> yeah, you've made mistakes. You know, we just went through Thales, Anningsman, or Anningsman is all the way through, through Lucifus and Democritus. Nobody watching this video has given a non-controversial answer to the question, what's the unity of me through all this diversity? There's always a deep problem. It's such a deep problem that it gives you pause. You think, wow, maybe I don't know this after all. Right? So now you've made deep mistakes. Every, every human being does. Right? Every human being does. Well... If you make these deep mistakes, you are not infallible. And if you're not infallible, 
there's room for doubt, no matter what you believe. You know, Descartes tries to dig himself out of this hole too, and his account is full of errors. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to admit it, but they're there. <laughs> I mean, he flat out contradicts himself. It's called the Cartesian circle, and this is a bit, kind of a big thing. Um, you have made mistakes, you know, and if you have made mistakes, you are not infallible. And if you're not infallible, you can't hold your own beliefs with certainty. So even if you think that, you know, your reason before you're like, you've been deeply confident in reasons before and you've made mistakes. You like, oh, wow, I did not see that coming. Well, you could be deeply confident in these beliefs too, but you still make mistakes. So no, whatever reason you come up with doesn't meet Descartes' standard because you and me and everyone else is fallible.